Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So just a week from now, one of the prominent meteor shower that occurs every year in the month of August is going to reach its peak. Yes, I am talking about the Perseus meteor shower that will reach its peak on August 12th, 13th and 14th. So in this video today, I am going to discuss in detail that how, when and where we can watch this Perseus meteor shower and what additional points we need to keep in mind while we are observing it. So please make sure that you watch this whole video up to end and don't skip any point so that all your doubts will get cleared up. But before beginning with the video, if you have not watched my previous video regarding the astronomical events in this August month, then please watch it so that you don't miss any other astronomical event in this month. If you like this video, then please share it ahead so that other people can also get to know about this meteor shower and enjoy watching it. So without wasting much time, let's begin our today's video. So let's first understand in short that how does a meteor shower work. So any meteor shower that occurs in the sky is associated with a comet or you can say the debris of a comet. As our planets revolve around our sun, the comets are also revolving around our sun at a specific interval of time. This comet comes from the wood cloud and are made of icy and dust, dust material or you can say space debris. So when a comet is traveling close to the sun, it will start to disintegrate because of the extreme heat of the sun. As a result, the comet will start to leave its debris in its elliptical orbit around the sun. In the present image, you can see that around the sun an elliptical orbit is shown and in that orbit the debris of any comet is shown. Luckily, our earth will pass through this debris comet because the orbit of our earth is also interacting with this elliptical orbit of the comet's debris. So what happens that when our earth will pass through this debris of the comet, it will attract this debris because of this gravitational field and as a result this debris will enter our atmosphere and will burn up in the sky because of the friction and this is how the meteor shower occurs the more our earth will travel through this space debris the more number of meteor we will see so this is how the actual meteor shower works so let's see that how we can see this force is meteor shower to see this meteor shower or enjoy any astronomical event we need to be under dark skies and for that we need to know about light pollution and the border scale. Light pollution is the additional amount of light that is caused because of the street lights, advertising hoarding, halogen lamps and many other things. And this light pollution is measured in terms of bottle scale. This bottle scale actually shows the sky's brightness of a particular location. And it is a 9 level scale that runs from bottle 1 to bottle 9. So as we move from bottle 1 to bottle 9 sky, the brightness of the sky will increase. Hence, bottle 1 represents the perfect dark sky while bottle 9 represents the extreme light polluted bright sky. Okay, so to see this meteor shower, we need to be under dark sky. So you can prefer bottle 1, bottle 2, bottle 3 sky location and you can still go up to bottle 4 sky location also. Okay, so to find out the bottle scale of our location or to find out the bottle scale of nearby area which is, happens to be a dark sky, we need to use the light pollution map. And I have made a detailed video on this channel that how to find the dark skies with the help of water scale by using the light pollution map from Google. Okay, so the link to that video is given in the description and also in the i button over here from where you can watch it. Please watch that video so that you will be able to locate the dark sky around your surrounding. So this is about how we can see this Perseus meteor shower. So let's see when we can see this Perseus meteor shower. So any meteor shower that occurs throughout the year has got a specific active duration during which it remains active and in that active duration there is a peak time during which maximum number of meteors will be seen. This Perseus meteor shower is active or remains active from mid July up to late August but the peak of this Perseus meteor shower is on 12th, 13th and 14th of August. Now what is the best time to see it? So the best time to see this Perseus meteor shower is few hours before the sunrise or I can say that after midnight because after midnight the radiant of this meteor shower will rise in the sky and we will be able to see the best number of meteors during that time duration. Okay, so the best time to see is after midnight and the peak will be on 12th, 13th and 14th of August. This year it is going to be the best site because the moon will be in the waning crescent phase that is the moon will be less illuminated and the illumination during in these three days that is 12th, 13th and 14th of August will be about uh, 10, uh, 7 or about 5% respectively. Okay, so it is going to be the best site because the sky will be pretty dark as compared to the sky which was last year. 
last year it was uh, full moon time or you can say waning gibbous moon time and uh, the sky was bri very bright so very less meteors were seen or you can say very negligible amount of meteors were seen but this year it is going to be best set because of the waning crescent phase of the moon so please don't miss your chance to see this Perseus meteor shower so let's see where we can see this Perseus meteor shower so any meteor shower that occurs has got a specific point called radiant that lies in a specific constellation from where all the meteors will originate. You might be able to see meteors anywhere in the sky, but their origin, that is the point of origin, will remain fixed. The origin or you can say the radiant of this Perseus meteor shower is lying in the Perseus constellation. So first thing is that we need to find out the Perseus constellation. This Perseus constellation rises in the or you can say it rises after midnight in the northeastern sky. So we have to find out it and we need to look in that direction to see the maximum number of meteors. Okay. So to find out the Perseus constellation, we can use any uh, star gazing application or we can use any star map. Here on screen, I have shown some of the star gazing application that are available on Play Store that you can use it. You just have to open the application and you have to set your location first by going in the settings. And after that, you have to find out the Perseus constellation from the search bar. And then you can see that in which direction it will rise. It will be in the northeast sky and at which time it will be higher in the sky. So that maximum number of meteors will be seen at that time. Okay. One more thing is that that is ZHR, which is zenithal hourly rate. ZHR shows that at zenith or you can say when the radiant of the meteor shower will be high up in the sky, how much meteors will be seen per hour. The ZHR of this Perseus meteor shower is about 80 to 100. So under a perfect dark sky and at a pot, at a uh, let's say very high uh, radiant or uh, you can say when the radiant is very high up in the sky, you can see about 80 to 90 meteors per hour. But if you are under let's say bottle 2 or bottle 3, that will decrease to about 60 to 70. But still it is a good number. Okay. So this is how we have to see the Perseus meteor shower. Once again, I'm repeating, you have to find out the Perseus constellation in which the radiant of this Perseus meteor shower lies and it will rise after midnight. Okay, so the best time is after midnight and uh, in the northeastern sky. So this is how we have to see this Perseus meteor shower. Some additional point which I would like to give is, as I said that uh, the best time is after midnight so that uh, you need to go prior to that time and set yourselves and allow about 30 to 40 minutes so that you will adapt to the darkness and then you can start observing the Perseus meteor shower. So friends, this was everything regarding the Perseus meteor shower. But still, if you have got any doubt or any query, please comment below in the comment section or directly contact me on my Instagram. My Instagram ID is shown over here as well as it is given in the description. Okay. Now, regarding the photographing of this meteor shower, with the help of smartphone, I will make another video and I will upload it soon in the next four to five days before the peak time. Okay. So that you can enjoy observing the meteor shower as well as photographing it. I have already photographed two to three meteor showers with the help of smartphone. So I know that how to photograph it with the smartphone better. Okay. So I will be uploading that video in the next uh, four to five days. So please stay tuned up to that and enjoy sky gazing. Thank you for watching this video.